On March the 1st, I was in a church uh, singing in a choir. Coronavirus somehow got in the church. There's probably 100 choir members in there and probably, I don't know, I'm guessing 1,000 people, but coronavirus entered into that church and, and spread like wildfire within an hour and over 45 people got coronavirus in that service and there's been two, maybe three that's passed away uh, out of this church and I had it too. Came home and started feeling bad within about, I guess within about two or three hours it started hitting me. I started getting weak, started feeling bad. Got to where I couldn't breathe good. And then uh, Monday morning, I got up and uh, decided I need to go to urgent care. So I went to an urgent care in Rome, Georgia. That's where I live, in Rome. I went to an urgent care and they checked my vitals and checked my, my air supply, checked my blood, checked all that stuff. They said, your oxygen level's uh, way too low. We don't want you here. You need to go straight to the hospital. You need to get in your car and drive straight over to the hospital. So I did. I went to Redmond Hospital here in Rome. Got to Redmond Hospital, they got the checking on me. They said I had a little pneumonia in my lungs. Uh, they tested me for the flu. The uh, flu came back negative, but they kept me all day running fluids through me and antibiotics. They decided to send me home, so they sent me home on Monday evening. So I laid in the bed from Monday uh, to Friday, so four days. I laid in the bed four days when I come home to the hospital and I just kept getting worse. So I went back to the hospital. Uh, they got CDC involved. They took this swab and took it to the CDC and it come back positive I had coronavirus. So, you know, I was admitted in the hospital. They run fluids through me. They ran antibiotics through me, give me breathing treatments, and it just kept getting worse and worse. And I guess after I laid in the hospital for about, about six, seven days, the doctors came in and said, you ain't getting no better, you're getting worse. You know, you, both of your lungs is uh, filled with fluid, laid in the bed, and it, it kept getting harder and harder to breathe. And I guess it was about three o'clock in the morning. Uh, I felt the Lord, and I felt him blow into my lungs, and he, he blew air into my lungs, and I took a deep breath, and it, from that moment on, it changed. Well, my doctors came back in at uh, 6.30. They said, yesterday your lungs were filled with fluid, and we come back in here this morning, and said, you ain't got no fluid in your lungs at all. I said, we just gotta know what's going on with you. I said, are you a praying man? I said, yeah, I'm a praying man. I've been praying all my life. That, and that one of them doctors told me, he said, well, we found in our practice that uh, men who pray, men who uh, stand on the Word of God, that positive energy causes the body to begin to heal itself. And, you know, we're, we're just amazed at the turnaround that you've come through like this. And, and I said, well, you can believe that if you want to. You can believe uh, that the positive energy did it. But I'm telling you, God came in my room at 3 o'clock this morning and healed my body. And they said, well, if you continue this journey, you'll be home. And, you know, within about four or five days, well, I went home two days later. Two days later, I was sitting in my house. You know, I was quarantined at the hospital for 11, 12 days, and then I come home and quarantined for two more weeks in my bedroom, so I've been separated from the world for a while. So, you know, all this started on March the 1st. On March 31st, the last day of the month, I came off quarantine and went back out in the world, and I see that the world's a whole lot different than it was when I went in. It's good now. I'm back at home. Things are going great. My message to you today is don't walk in fear. That's what that's, That was the key to me staying alive. Put your trust in Him. And, uh, you know, he says he'll take care of us.